What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna work a little bit on our close guard. We're gonna expose our opponent back and we're gonna jump towards a collar choke. So we're in a close guard, our legs are locked on our opponent's hips. And now we're gonna go for the two on one control. Okay, I wanna control uh, my opponent's arm very well and I'm gonna pass the arm uh, towards the other side. Okay, so first I'm gonna get the cross grip on the bottom of his sleeve and now the second one goes towards the tricep. So this is a very nice way to control my opponent's arm because the entire arm is controlled now. And from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my hips a little bit to bump the arm up and then I'm gonna pass the arm towards the other side. And now the idea is to not only pass the arm, but also break his posture a little bit. Okay, this is this is gonna happen actually very automatically whenever you pass the arm, his shoulder is coming towards, uh, towards my upper body and his posture gets a bit lower. Okay, so that's, that's perfect. So first cross grip and now the second grip goes on the stitch on his tricep. Okay, this is the easiest way to get a nice grip on the, on the tricep. Sometimes the gi is, the material of the gi is gonna be tighter. It's, it's hard to, to get the grip, but whenever you find a stitch, it's easy to get it, okay? Uh, now, hip bump, and I pass the arm to, towards the other side. And now very important thing is your grip here. So whenever I pass the arm towards the other side, I'm aiming with my knuckles towards his forearm and I'm making like a stiff arm control. So in this case, it's gonna be hard for my opponent to come back towards the other side in, a, in the first moment, okay? So we keep his arm straight and we keep his back exposed for a, for a little while. And it's gonna be hard for him to, to react fast to, the, uh, to that setup, okay? So whenever this happens, whenever I'm able to put his arm towards the other side, I'm gonna scoop my hips out a little bit. So right now, what I'm working for is the angle to attack. Whenever my hips are on the mat like this, it's always harder for me to attack. It's kind of a neutral position. Sometimes I can shoot my hips up to, to lock some, some triangles or, or arm bars, but most of the time, in general, this is a neutral position. It's hard to, uh, it's hard to attack from this one, okay? But whenever we break the posture of our opponent, and whenever we switch the angle, it's starting to be very easy to attack. So his back is exposed. So sometimes I can work towards the back, but if, I'm, if I want to submit my opponent, if I want to submit him fast because the time is running out and I don't have much time to, to, uh, to work for the position, then what I'm going to do from here is this. I'm going to raise up on my on my elbow and then in the same time, I'm gonna put my chest on top of his shoulder. So in the first moment, it's gonna be hard for him uh, to raise up, to, uh, to raise his posture. And now my arm, the free arm, goes around his neck and I'm gonna aim for the far collar. Okay, so I'm, I'm going tight on his neck all the way towards the, the far collar. Get a nice grip there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise up my hips even more using this arm, going with my hips on top of his back. And now I'm gonna slide my leg towards the mat. So my whole weight is on his shoulders right now. It's gonna be extremely hard for him to posture up. It's gonna be extremely hard for him to find a comfortable position. And from here, I'm just gonna squeeze the choke and it's over, okay? So the goal here is to put as much weight as I can on top of his shoulders and on his head. Then, then he, can't, he can't posture up, he can't roll, he's, he's locked there. So again, 
cross grip on the on the sleeve. Now I'm gonna look for the grip on the on the tricep. Now look, it's a simple trick here. If if you wanna get even more, get that grip easy, easily, then I'm gonna go a bit further on the armpit. I'm gonna grab the stitch and I'm gonna slide my grip down towards the tricep. And now I have a nice and tight grip on the tricep, right above his elbow on the spot I want. So now, sometimes it's gonna be hard to just pass the arm towards the other side when he's, when he's trying to defend, when he's, when he's, he's opposing. So a little hip bump is always a good option to add some power to the move. So I don't need that tricep grip anymore. I let it go and I just leave the grip on the, on the forearm and I'm putting a stiff arm control. As I'm putting his arm on the other side, I switch my hips and now I need to raise up. So I raise up and I put my back on top of his shoulder. I let go the grip on the, on the sleeve. So right now I have to stay tight on his back. I aim for the collar, slide, get the grip. Now I go over his back. So if I'm gonna stay like this, there's a lot of space for him to, to escape now. So you don't want this shoulder to be free. That's why I slide over that shoulder and I put my knee on the mat. Right now the shoulder, the shoulder is, is controlled. The, sh the, the whole upper body is locked. And then I just squeeze with my forearm towards his neck and we got a nice and tight shot here. So again, cross grip, grip on the tricep, hip bump, and I put my open on the other side. Okay, remember about the stiff arm, it's gonna be, it's gonna be easier to expose the back and expose, uh, expose the neck. So from here, I can slide my hips even more. If you feel like the, uh, the angle of your hips is, is, uh, is bad, it's too much square, your hips are too much square, then just use the, the foot to, to push from the mat and slide your hips even more. So now I stay sideways, but my opponent can't do anything from here because I control his arm with a stiff arm and now I put my, the way of my, of my thigh on top of his, his back. So I can stay here for a while. Now I'm ready to attack. So I'm gonna let go the grip and I put my shoulder on top. I put my chest on top of his shoulder. Slide for the neck, grab the, grab the collar, raise up. Go on top of his shoulder, put the knee on the mat. And now I lock the choke. And if you want to make the move even more powerful, you can use your hips to put more pressure towards the mat. So I squeeze with my, with my arm. And in the same time, I'm gonna put my, uh, my hips down towards the mat. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, let me know in the comment section, hit the thumb up and subscribe to the channel. See you next week.